Привет, товарищи! I guess you missed me. I've been away for a very long time. I know it. It wasn't planned, actually. Uh, I wasn't planned to stop posting videos, but I was out of the city for around half... No, for around one month. And I didn't have any access to the internet. I couldn't post anything. I and my daughter traveled to Pskov Oblast and uh, she stayed in the village. I traveled to five cities and two countries, experienced joy and sadness, hope and hopelessness. And now I'm ready to share this journey with you. Uh, but I want especially to thank my Instagram community and my dear patrons who supported me and who made these videos actually possible. With your support I could get a very good camera and thank you Eric for helping me to get a very good professional microphone so I will not have troubles with sound anymore. This year I decided to take a risk and become a full-time vlogger. I can't say that it's easy, there are a lot of... Um, a lot of challenges on this way and uh, well it's not easy so much work goes into making these things possible and without your support I wouldn't be able to do anything so press the bell so you won't miss any of my new videos and let the journey begin Посадка окончена, поезд отправляется. Our first destination in Pskov Oblast is its capital, Pskov, the city that was one of the most important cities in the northwestern Russia before St. Petersburg was founded. How does one of the old cities live right now? How does it look? Let's figure it out. We chose one of the most comfortable and the fastest way to reach Pskov by train Lastichka. It took us only three hours and a half. So we arrived to Pskov, it's a very old railway station, so you see we had to climb. Okay guys, we arrived to Pskov and look at the flat. I decided to rent an average flat where usually people live <laughs> and look how it looks here. My grandma used to have the same door. <laughs> The same mirror, this is a uh, Soviet Union mirror, our bags, and yeah, look at the flooring, by the way. Hello. Look at this view, this is Pskov, sofa, again, Soviet Union mirror, you see, uh, and Soviet Union chair, by the way. Uh, my brother used to have the same one uh, at my grandma's place. He used to sleep in it. You can open it and sleep in it. And another Soviet Union sofa. By the way, my grandma has the same one. And it's clear somebody was uh, always standing here or doing something because you see this color. <laughs> ah. And this is something new. This is, uh, you see, Камин we call it, no, in English. It's weird, very, very weird creature, Soviet Union creature. <laughs> and uh, yeah, usual Soviet bath. This is how it was. There were no enough places in Soviet Union, so you see how they did it. It's a very small room. So, they used to use this one tap for both. Now let's see, toilet, Soviet Union toilet. Exactly like this, you see. Oh my God. Yeah, the, the place is very small. It's like Khrushchevka actually, kind of, but kitchen is big, kitchen is big. 
see they put new fridge soviet union fridge guys birusa man these people saved everything from that era so yeah guys i uh, rent this flat specially to show you how many people live of course there are many flats which are better with the with everything everything is fixed but it's outside of the city a little bit and this one is exactly in the center and everything is around okay we went out and in front of our house what we see here look pure russian architecture but in very bad condition they try to restore it but they restore it obviously not like how it was before it's uh, obvious here you see the roof should be like this and what they do, this is the problem of Russian uh, renovation. Russian building, look. Wooden, wooden architecture. They sell, you see, by the way, who wants, who wants to buy? Here's the fun. We took a flat close to the center and to ancient uh, Pskov wall. These are the fortifications that remain from Great Northern War. So this will be very interesting for those who love history. <laughs> Kremlin is there, but we go here. Можно. I've just discovered that this park is called Finnish Park, Park Kopia. Kopia is a city in Finland, uh, which is a twin town to Pskov. Look at this! You know, uh, we live on swamp in St. Petersburg and whenever I go somewhere where there are hills, or mountains or anything like that. Yeah. I feel like a kid, you know, very happy. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. <laughs> it always amazes me. Mm -hmm. I don't know, <laughs> I'm 30 years old, but these kind of things still amaze me with its beauty. It's very nice to uh, see that they started to take care because Pskov Oblast was always very, very poor. And uh, just recently they got normal uh, governor, I think, or mayor of the city. And uh, it's changed. I see it's very beautiful. See, look at the view. Amazing evening. Pskov Oblast is quite ancient, there are a lot of legends. There is one legend that there is a tower, Grimiacce tower, and there is a local legend about the daughter of the prince sleeping in the tower. To awake her, you must read the Psaltar 12 days on end. There is also a legend about the prince who was taken prisoner by the Livonian knights and killed in the tower. Food in Pskov costs not much, not like in St. Petersburg, so we chose the most famous restaurant. Asia ordered Caesar salad, I took Jarkoya, Russian famous Jarkoya, it's meat with potato and some veg vegetables. I am, in my case, it's potato with uh, carrot and, of course, smetana. We can't eat anything without smetana. This is Russian way. <laughs> and it's cooked in um, our traditional dishes, by the way. This is how they always cook it. After food, we came to far away to countryside of Pskov. City is there, you see. There.
Okay guys, we arrived to the monument dedicated to the battle on ice that Alexander Nevsky won and you can say he freed Pskov. In 2014 Pskov decided to put a monument dedicated to the battle on ice when weak Russians under the command of Alexander Nevsky won the battle on Chitskoya Lake which is quite near in 1242. Alexander Nevsky could stop Germans and Swedish and save the rest of Russia from enemies. Rain caught us when we just arrived to record and I can't uh, open my camera right now because it's very strong. I'm trying to hide here under the tree. Asia is going crazy. I don't think it's gonna end any soon. I see this should die. So probably I need to order a taxi. We are wet, but I think it's really worth it because uh, views here are just amazing. Look, amazing. There is no transportation to this place, but uh, you can order a taxi. It costs around 200, 200 and something. Depends on the traffic jam. Let me get your stuff. 